Now, let's come to the physical examination. And to be honest with you, practically, there is nothing called complete physical. And if you want to do a really complete physical examination, it would take you like three days. Rather, or practically speaking, we have to tailor the physical examination according to the patient's chief complaint and history of present illness. So let me, for example, if the patient complains of something like dyspnea, you should focus more on his heart and chest, shortness of breath, most probably coming from his heart and chest, and so on. And always begin by a section or statement reporting the uh, patient's general appearance followed by his vital signs, because this is gonna give us and uh, an appreciation to the patient's severity, to the seriousness of the problem. The general appearance that the patient look very sick, very uh, confused or something, followed by the vital signs. And always search for signs of complications of possible diagnosis. So from taking the chief complaint and history, you suspect that the patient might have such and such. So always in, the, in your examination, search for complications and use always appropriate terminology. Using labs and diagnostics. This is the last part in acquiring data. When you report the results of uh, labs, highlight only those results that are relevant to the history of present illness and summarize the diagnostic tests instead of uh, just reciting them. And for the binary tests should be reported as positive or negative. Binary tests like pregnancy test, positive or negative. But I cannot say uh, chest x-ray, positive or negative. What do you mean by positive or negative? Now, let me explain to you something very important, which is sensitivity and specificity of the test. Throughout the coming lectures, you will uh, hear me frequently say that this test is sensitive but not specific, while that test is more specific. So what's meant by a sensitive test in contrast to a specific test? A sensitive test is very valuable when it is negative. So sensitive test is a good negative test. When the test is negative, it helps you exclude a certain diagnosis. Like for example, the D-dimer in case of pulmonary embolism. You have a patient with sudden shortness of breath and you're not quite sure that it might be pulmonary embolism and you wanna exclude pulmonary embolism. So you do D-dimer. If D-dimer was negative, this automatically excludes pulmonary embolism. That's why we say D-dimer is a good negative test or, the, or it's a test with high sensitivity. But if the D-dimer was positive, it does not prove that you have pulmonary embolism. So we say that the D-dimer test is not a specific test for pulmonary embolism. What could be a specific test for pulmonary embolism? Maybe spiral CT scan of the chest. So specific, uh, specificity is the ability of the test to point to a certain diagnosis. So specific tests are good positive tests, while sensitive tests are good negative tests.